This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by nitrosme.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this digital looking background animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. We will be covering a lot of different techniques throughout the complete tutorial, so make sure you stay tuned throughout the video so you don't miss out on anything. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp. 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this element. Go into Effects and Preset and search for Fractal Noise. Let's add Fractal Noise to this. I'm going to increase the contrast really high, somewhere around 600 or 650. So something like this looks good and bring down the brightness. Maybe somewhere around there looks good, minus 150. Also bring down the complexity down to 3. And then I can animate the evolution. So create a keyframe at the very start, go all the way up to 10 seconds. And let's set this to around 3 rotation. So it's going to keep on animating like this. Then select the layer, go into effects and preset and search for an effect called CC ball action. Double click to apply that. Let's bring down the grid spacing to around 10 and increase the and bring down the ball size, sorry, to 20. So we get this really cool kind of a digital look. Pretty nice. And now let's add some color to this. So I'm going to search for a tint effect and double click to apply that. Now you can, of course, go with any color that you like. I'm going to go with something like a nice blue color. All right. Let's hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's set the blending mode of this to screen. And I'm going to change the color of this one to kind of a pinkish tone. And then go at the very start. Let's set the evolution to 1. And let's go back and set this to 4. So you get this really interesting look as you can see. Pretty awesome. Now let's add some more detail to this. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Call this detail. Then go into effects and preset and search for an effect called mini max. Double click to apply that. Set the radius to 2. And then search for an effect called find edges. Double click and click on invert. And boom, we have this really interesting looking grid or animation digital animation ready looks kind of cool and you can anytime play around with the fractal noise you can play around with the contrast to get a really cool look so maybe i'll actually bring up the contrast a bit more just so that we have a much more interesting look i think so this is looking pretty cool now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor, nitrosme.com. They have a special Cyber Week sale going on on their website. All their massive packs, which is also their best sellers like video library, AR tools, all-in-one transitions and many more are on flat 50% off sale right now. This is one of their biggest sale campaign of 2021. So make sure to grab your favorite packs right now as this is a limited time offer and ends in a few days. All the items come with unlimited licensing, meaning you purchase the pack once and use it for unlimited projects, personal as well as commercial. For more information, check out the link in the description below. You can also play around with the Minimax to get a really different grid, but I think two is fine. Now let's add some background color to this. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. And if I put this at the back and let's see if I add a fill on this. So let's go here. Add a fill. 
you can see it's not going to affect properly because we have an adjustment layer which has minimax and fine edges about them so we have to put the background on the top all right let's change the color to something like a darkish blue or something and change the blending mode of this to add and boom now it's looking the way i want it to maybe a bit more darkish blue so yeah that is looking much better now let's go ahead and add some more detail into this uh, digital pattern that we have here so let's select the element pink one pink element hit ctrl d put this on the top and i'm gonna play a bit with the ball size so let's bring that down so we have kind of a dot in between which is very minimal but it adds a layer of detail here then i'm gonna duplicate this one more time hit ctrl d again and this time i'm gonna play around with the evolution so let's go at the very start let's move this a bit to around 20 and then set this to around 24 i'm gonna duplicate this one more time hit ctrl d and this time i'm gonna move this to 30 and this one to 34 and then let's um, select the same blue color so we have a bit more detail into the pattern and now it's looking pretty damn cool now let's create a new adjustment layer called this um, add-ons and i'm gonna add a couple of effects on this so first of all let's add some glow double click let's increase the radius to around 20 or maybe 20 is a bit too much let's set this to 12 hit ctrl d and set this one to actually 60 or something so we have some nice glows also i'm going to hold alt and click on this 8 bbc button so it's going to switch to 16 bbc and we will get some nice glows on this then i'm going to go into effects and preset and search for an effect called bulge let's add that and this effect is going to give us a really cool look so let's increase the bulge radius to around 1200 should be fine and you can see we get this really interesting look this looks like kind of a tv screen but let's go ahead and add some more um, depth into this all right so to do that let's first of all create a blur map so i'm gonna make this map hit ctrl y call this layer or whatever that you want go ahead and add a gradient ramp on this let's set this to radial ramp pull this just like so and i'm going to pull this one out and make it kind of a gray stone all right so the black area is going to be in focus and as the layer turns gray it's going to get blurred out so in order to achieve that i'm going to go here and add a camera lens blur on this let's select the blur map that we just created so first of all actually i have add the map composition here hide that then go into add-ons effects and preset and let's go here in the blur map and set the map and now if i increase this we get a really cool look so i can actually make this really high and you can see it is looking pretty cool but i think the blur is a bit too much so i can jump into the blur map and um, let's select the gradient map let's pull this point out just like so and now we have this really cool look and boom there you go there you have your cool digital animated background instead of after effects that too without using any plugin i think it looks pretty sick and awesome so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to hit that like button to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and do let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this particular animation with that said i will see you guys in the next video also make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below so i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always Stay raw, stay creative, peace out.